Hello everyone, this is Lin Shu Wang. I'm from Oak Ridge National Laboratory. I'm very glad to virtually present our work. The title of this presentation is Experimental Investigation of a Novel Membrane-Based Condensing Heat Exchanger Used for High-Efficient Furnace. The contents of this presentation are as follows. First is the introduction, then is the principle of capillary condensation, and followed by the experimental operators of the memory heat exchanger, and then is the experimental results and uh, uh, parametric studies of it, and last is the uh, conclusions. Now let's start the introduction part. We know that buildings are the primary end users. It is estimated that buildings will consume 38 cores, which accounts for 37.6 part uh, percent of the total U.S. primary energy in the year 2030, so of which around 4.5 cores is, is natural gas consumption for building space heating. So the increase of this uh, fossil fuel consumption release uh, huge amounts of the greenhouse gases and uh, cause the global warming problems. And for the uh, natural gas furnace, there are two types of it. Uh, the first type is the non-condensing furnace, which has an efficiency of around uh, 80%. Another type is the uh, condensing furnace, which has a higher efficiency uh, of 90% to uh, 98%. It is also called a high efficiency furnace. So also the uh, condensing furnace has a higher efficiency. There are some drawbacks of it. The condensing furnace uh, has a condensing heat exchanger instead of it which serves as the secondary heat exchanger to re recover heat from flue gas. However, the acid gases are dis dissolved in the condensate and they used to require exp ex expensive and corrosion resistance uh, materials. And the drain drainage also needs a neutralizing salt system and the retrofit, uh, retrofit duct work also needed to be corrosion resistant. So in the US uh, furnace market, uh, if the if the 80% uh, efficiency furnace can be replaced by the 95% uh, uh, efficiency furnace, 0 0.5 uh, cores uh, annual energy can be saved. However, due to the drawbacks uh, of the condensing furnace, the super, the market share of it uh, is still very small, only 25%. So increasing the market share of the high efficiency furnace is very important and it's, uh, it's beneficial to largely reducing the greenhouse gas emissions. To achieve this target, we developed a novel membrane-based condensing heat exchanger for the high efficiency furnace. Uh, we use the uh, nanoporous memory to achieve the non-acidic uh, condensation we use the uh, porous conductive graphic form to enhance heat transfer. So by using this uh, memory heat exchanger, both the latent and sensible heat can be recovered. So we developed it and test the benchtop prototype to assess the feasibility of it. Uh, the memory heat exchanger uh, adopts the uh, capillary condensation method uh, to, to condensate the water from the flue gas. So we know that the fluid has the surface tension and it's caused the capillary forces. So if the uh, condensed fluid in the pores, the smaller for the pore and the, the higher of the, uh, of the surface tension forces, and it's caused the concave monisker at the interface between the liquid and the, and the vapor as shown in this figure. The vapor pressure of the liquid above the monisker uh, is calculated by using the uh, Kelvin equations. And when the acid uh, gases flow through the tubular membrane, the condensate only occurs at the uh, uh, monic scale surface. And, the, and then the condensate is pulled out uh, through the membrane. So in this uh, process, the condensate only have very little time uh, in contact with the acid, acid gases. So it causes the condensate is non acidic uh, and also the memory materials and how the materials do not to be uh, corrosion resistant. And the acid neutralization system also can be eliminated. We proposed the uh, benchtop prototype for the memory heat exchanger. Uh, in the center of this heat exchanger, there's a nanoporous nano memory tube with the average process of eight nanometers. 
and uh, this memory uh, uh, tube is wrapped with the uh, porous conductive graphic form to enhance the heat transfer between the flow gas and other uh, fluids. So by using this memory heat exchanger, uh, both the latent and the, and the heat, heat, uh, sensible heat can be, um, can be uh, recovered from the flow gas. This diagram shows the system to test the performance of the uh, memory heat exchanger. Uh, from the, uh, the flow gas from a non-condensing furnace uh, flows through the memory heat exchanger, which is called uh, with the, some bus. Uh, the, the, by, by using the uh, capillary uh, condensation, the water vapor from the flue gas is conden condensed inside of the heat exchanger. And, and then the condensate is pulled out of, uh, through the membrane by using a vacuum pump. The, the two ice buses are used to uh, collect the condensate from the membrane and uh, also from the uh, uh, flue gas reject. During the test, test uh, there are three variables can be varied. Uh, they are the flow gas flow rate, uh, memory heat exchanger, elastic temperature, and the coolant temperature. Mm, this is a photo of these experimental operators. Mm, the the condensate, uh, the uh, as, uh, acidity of the of this condensate can be uh, measured by using the, this pH meter, and the uh, the amount of the uh, uh, collected water is weighted by using a scale. Uh, this table shows the specification of the marrying system. Uh, the measured values in the test uh, include the flue gas composition, the temperature of the coolant and the flue gas, flow rate of the uh, coolant and the, flu, uh, and the flue gas, the pH value and the weight of the uh, collected water. To eva evaluate the performance of the memory heat exchanger, uh, we adopt the three uh, performance uh, in, uh, index. The first index is uh, water collection rate. Uh, it is the amount of water collected from the condensate or rejector per unit time. Uh, the second index is the fraction of heat recovery. So it is the ratio of the latent heat recovered from the condensate and the total latent of the water vapor in the flue gas. And the uh, pH value is the scale of the uh, acidity of the uh, collected water. So we conducted a case study to test the performance of the memory heat exchanger. Uh, this table shows the test conditions. The inlet temperature of the memory heat, heat exchanger is around uh, 148 degrees C, so which is very close to the uh, flue gas temperature from the furnace. And the coolant temperature is around 20 degrees C. So these figures show the uh, measured data of the uh, flue gas and, uh, uh, and the, the uh, coolant during the test. Uh, this table shows the measured performance of this test. So it can be seen uh, that uh, the fraction of the heat recover, re recovery is 54%. Uh, uh, and the pH value of the con con uh, condensate, condensate from memory is 5.6. So we know that the typical uh, condensate, uh, pH value of the condensate from the conventional con uh, con condensating uh, furnace is uh, uh, 3.5. So it means that uh, according to the pH uh, equation, the acidity of the condensate from membrane is about 99% uh, uh, lower than that of the uh, conventional condensing furnace. Uh, so this can, uh, condensate is uh, neutral and, uh, and it also can be used for uh, humidifying the heated air during the uh, winter. So we know that the dew points of the flue gas is usually uh, lower than uh, 60 degrees C. So the 77 uh, degrees C outlet temperature of the memory heat exchanger indicates that uh, the water vapor from the flue gas is likely to be condensed above the dew point uh, temperature, but it needed to be proved by further investigation uh, with higher coolant temperature. Uh, to comprehensively understand the performance of the memory heat exchanger, we also conducted a uh, parametric study uh, to, uh, to study the impacts of the uh, flow gas flow rate, uh, memory heat exchanger in lab temperature and the coolant temperature. Uh, so the, this, uh, uh, the results of this parametric study also can be used for, as the guide for the scale up optimal design and operation for the memory heat exchanger. The test metrics of this parametric uh, study is shown in this table. There are totally uh, 21 tests 
conducted uh, with the varied uh, uh, cooling, uh, coolant temperature, flow gas flow rates, uh, and the memory heat exchanger in light temperature. Uh, we first we studied the impact of flow gas flow rates at a constant uh, memory heat exchanger in light temperature and uh, uh, coolant temperature. Uh, from the left uh, figure, we can find that uh, the condensate rate and the re reject rate uh, increase by increasing the <coughs> flow gas flow rate, while the fraction of the uh, heat recovery uh, decreases with the uh, flow gas flow rate. From the red, red figure, we can find that uh, the pH value of the condensate uh, decreased uh, and decreased with the uh, uh, flow gas flow rate, uh, while the pH of the reje reject uh, increased uh, with a higher uh, flow gas flow rate. These two figures show the uh, these two figures show the uh, memory heat exchanger uh, inlet temperature impacts. Uh, it can be seen that uh, the reject rate of the uh, reject rate increases a little by increasing the memory heat exchanger uh, temperature uh, heat exchanger inlet temperature from 100 degrees C to 148 degrees C, while the can, can, uh, condensate rate uh, decreases a little. Uh, from the, the pH value figure, we can find that uh, the pH of the reject uh, decreased uh, only a little uh, uh, by increasing the memory heat exchanger in light temperature. Well, we didn't find uh, any apparent, uh, apparent uh, relationship between the pH value of the uh, condensate uh, and the inlet temperature of the uh, uh, heat exchanger. Um, we also studied the impact of, of the coolant temperature we, from this figure, we can find that uh, the condensate rate uh, and the fraction of the heat recover, recovery uh, decrease with the higher uh, coolant temperature. Well, the re reject rate uh, increase uh, with the higher coolant temperature. And uh, from the red figure, we can find that uh, uh, both the pH values of the condensate and the reject uh, increased uh, slightly with the higher coolant temperature. So to conclude uh, uh, this study, the test results of the, uh, uh, of the memory heat exchanger prove that uh, this memory-based uh, heat exchanger can recover the latent heat of the wet vapor uh, without uh, generating the acidic condensation. We also found that uh, the wet vapor in the flow gas is likely to be condensed uh, above, above the dew point temperature. The con condensate rate and reject rate increase by increasing the flow gas flow rate, while the condensate, uh, condensate rate uh, decreases with a higher coolant uh, temperature, and the fraction of the heat recovery decreases by increasing the flow, flow gas flow rate and the coolant temperature. And the results also show that uh, the fra uh, fraction of the heat recovery uh, during the different uh, conditions varies from around 40% uh, to 70%. And the pH values of the condensate varies from 5 to 6.3. Uh, so uh, compared with the uh, con uh, conventional uh, condensing furnace, the acidity uh, of the condensate uh, through the membrane is uh, 97 to 99 percent lower. Uh, so with the uh, re reduced uh, acidity of the condensed, uh, the membrane heat ex exchanger can, can use the lower cost of materials so to sum up, the, uh, the proposed memory heat exchanger has the potential to enable a wider market uh, penetration, penetration of the highly efficient, uh, energy efficient condensing uh, furnace by reducing the cost for dealing with the acid condensation. That's all, thank you.